Hi everyone, Ian from DIY Home and Gardening, uh, December still. Um, another video on chrysanthemums. So basically a follow on from the, the one the other week. Um, so quick recap, the one the other week we were lifting the uh, chrysanthemums from the allotment, basically uh, cutting the plants back, lifting, um, plants plus some root and existing soil and just uh, essentially dumping them into the crates um, ready to get started. So this is definitely follow on and a um, good way to set up the plants, I suppose. So uh, I'll just turn the camera around and uh, we'll have a little look together. So um, got four crates there still. Uh, I've already done a few as um, seems to be the way this year, time has really been against me and so I just haven't had time to get these fully prepped up. So they've been sitting in the garage for the last couple of weeks. Um, you can see that the stalls uh, are still into to leaf, possibly um, doing better than they would have um, had they been left in the ground because we've had some proper cold weather here. So, um, yeah they're actually doing all right but um next stage on is i need to get them ready uh, to go into the greenhouse to basically get all these stalls growing for um propagation material if needs be or just for sorting out the plants ready for getting some good flower this year so um that's one tray done already so there are some already in the greenhouse and just thought I'd show you the next process. So these ones are the um, uh, Alois types. Uh, has that lovely double flower to them. Um, we've had a look at these before when we were over the allotment. And essentially nothing too technical, bucket of water. And I tend to just hold them by these um, older stems and literally just shaking off quite vigorously and washing off the old soil. Uh, it's all right to keep the odd bit, but really I want to take off as much as possible just to leave these nice clean roots so you're sure that uh, there's going to be no worms, vine weevil, um, yeah, any other soil pests so that's what we're kind of starting with and you can see there's a whole mixture there of the uh, perlite from potting the compost from potting and the clay soil from the allotment so so just shake this one off and then uh, have a little look right that's that one done as well so don't be afraid to literally get all the soil off so we've got some nice fibrous root there at this stage i'm not going to cut these stems back any further um, so the base of the crate puts uh, polythene into the base or um, what I was doing last year I was literally using newspaper but I've got some polythene left over from uh, well another little project uh, nice layer of fresh compost in the bottom um, you know dry-ish hasn't got to be bone dry, but um, you want it on the dry side so that uh, the plants aren't going to get too wet and encourage root rot. Um, and then basically just fill it in around and cover it as much of this root as you can do. Um, it's a little bit harder trying to do it one handed, I'll give you that, but we we'll just get this done and then have a little look okay so that's a good enough covering and so literally just making sure that uh, as much of the roots are covered as possible um, stick your labels back in so I've still got three labels left over from when they're planting the allotment and really the covering over is going to uh, protect the roots but it will also encourage these stools to produce a little bit of side branching, um, certainly enable them to take up moisture and get going. And it is definitely all this fresh stuff that's down here that was what we're going to be after. 
But um, following on from this, I'm gonna take him to the greenhouse. So uh, let's go, let's go for a walk. Right, so all finished. Uh, that's the Aloise types all on that shelf. So they're the um, intermediate types or early intermediates. Um, so I've got all those set out and then I've got the um, John Riley and Hanningbergs there, which are the later. And then I've got a uh, spray variety there. So they're all set up and really, I suppose the delay in uh, getting these done a little bit sooner was the fact that I hadn't uh, been able to get some bubble wrap. Um, so still haven't got around to doing the ceiling, but I've done the side, so it does stay a lot warmer than uh, uh, certainly the outside temperatures. But yeah, essentially now for the um, next six, eight weeks, all these croissants just can sit here and uh, not got to worry too much about them. Um, it's still worth checking maybe once, twice a week that they're not going to dry out as without the uh, original soil, if you like, that was around their root zone, they're not able to retain the moisture in quite the same way, although they are surrounded by this uh, dry-ish compost. So yeah, just make sure that um, they're not going to dry out equally. If you do need to give them a drink, just uh, sparingly, really. But um, certainly you shouldn't need to give them much of a drink now. And uh, like I say, just leave them do their thing until you get to about February time and then we're on to cutting season. But um, for the time being, that is that is it. That's, um, that's the chrysamps all uh, bedded out and um, ready to hopefully get some good uh, action from the from their stalls so yeah another job ticks off the list finally so as i say it's a job ticked off the list it's been um sort of niggling at me for a little while the fact that yeah i'd lifted them all made that real effort to get them out of the um potentially sodden cold allotment ground which you know i did do um but uh, hadn't really progressed too much further than uh, leaving them in the garage. So whilst they benefited from that uh, protection from the, uh, the proper minus temperatures that we've had of late, um, they haven't had that clean up that they should have had and certainly haven't got bedded out ready to get that uh, growing action going. But uh, yeah, um, so job done now, so not got to worry about that. Uh, yeah, so if you do have any questions, then obviously please send them over to me. I'll do my very best to answer them for you. Um, if you like what I'm doing, then please subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit that reminder button so you don't miss out on the future videos I'm doing. Always say it. Uh, have fun doing what you're doing. Uh, obviously, the weather at the moment, particularly well, UK and America, um, not very good. Cold, wet, cold snow more cold but um plenty of stuff to get um get organized on uh preparation wise for next year so just out of um a bit of time to yourselves over this uh well what is going to be the festive period have a bit of time to yourselves but equally have a little bit of sit down time to yourself for um planning ahead make your life easier for next year but uh you know, always say it, do something that you enjoy, enjoy what you're doing, and till next time, mind how you go, and bye for now.